There's one really cool advanced feature inside the mixer, and it's mute modes. We have four in there right now, and we're looking at adding some more in the future as well. Let's go over the ones that, that you can see. When you look at the mute options down here, there's all stream only, which means it mutes only to your stream. Chat only, it only mutes whatever's going to chat, Discord, whatever that is, and mutes only to your headphones. So the way that you can use this in a really cool way is imagine that you're co-streaming with somebody. You guys are chatting on Discord, but you're also both streaming to your respective audiences. If you were to go along and click stream only as your mute, it would mute whatever you're saying through your mic to your stream. So the example I'm gonna use here, we're gonna use music instead. It's just easier for me to talk and use the music at the same time. But here's some music, okay? And I'm muting it everywhere. So when I hit that, I can't hear it in my headphones. You guys can't hear it as the broadcast mix. But if I let it come back and I click stream only, when I hit the mute button, you'll notice something different happens with the mute and the slider. And also I'll still be able to hear the music in my own headphones, but you won't because you're the streamer at this point or you're the stream viewer at this point. So here comes the music. I hit the mute and now I can hear the music still in my headphones and you'll notice the fader did not jump down to the bottom. This indicates that although it's muted, it's not muted everywhere. This gives you a visual indication that somebody, somebody somewhere is getting this music and this is set up by these buttons down here. Now I can show you another version of this where I change it to chat only mute. So I'm going to unmute it here. You'll hear it again. I'm going to change it to chat only. Now when I mute it, you'll actually hear that the music is still going to the stream. You guys are the stream viewers. I hear it in my headphones, but chat, so Discord, does not hear it at that point. And we're gonna kill the music there. Now, how is this useful? Okay, you're on Discord and you wanna discuss something with the person that you are streaming with and you don't want your stream to hear it. Mute it to stream only, so that that way you can still chat on Discord and they can hear you, but that your stream doesn't hear it. If you flip that on its head, and say you got a subscriber that just subbed for like two, three, four years in a row and you want to give that person a personal shout out or you want to promo um, something that you're being activated for as a streamer, you really don't want to pollute the Discord of your streaming partner with those things. So you hit chat only. Now when you hit the mute on your own microphone, you're only communicating with your headphones and your audience and you can do that shout out without annoying the person that you're streaming with. Really, really cool. For phones only, you can do a mute where you just mute it from your headphones. Um, that often can work really well for things like um, you want to run music in between uh, playing the game and when you're uh, talking to your audience afterwards, and you don't want to hear the music while you're playing, but you want to hear it while you're just chatting. You can use the two phones one to mute it so that you don't hear the music, but they still do when you're doing the stream. And you can achieve that through the routing tab as well, but I find that the mute modes are a little bit faster.